Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 109 South Magnolia Street here in Cornelius. We're located on the rooftop. We're going through a two inch vent for point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. We have about every fixture in the house running right now. These can be difficult to go through, or events anyway. It looks like we just hit the crawl space there. We're going to zero out. Here at 73 feet, transitions from 3 inch ABS, looks like over to 4 inch, schedule 3034 PVC pipe. Alrighty, here at 135 feet, we've reached the main lateral. I'm going to go do locate just to verify it's out in the street. We'll let, we'll let the line drain out here for a couple minutes. It does look like there's some spots in the ABS portion of the line where we've got some standing water. We'll uh, see what those look like once we get the line all drained out. Yeah, I did successfully locate the camera head heading out to the street in front of the home. And I turned the water off here a couple minutes ago, so it should be most of the way drained out at this point. I still have a lot of water trickling off.
And there's, there's a, a about a 20 foot section roughly of pipe here that has lost some slope and grade um, or bellied out. The belly gets worse at the very end here. It does go up over an inch of standing water. Um, it's, it's hovering between roughly half an inch of standing water to an inch of standing water. And uh, belly ends here at 50 feet. I will go mark this out. So I'll use some white paint and I'll mark uh, either end of the belly and get it mapped out. All right, look at the camera out in the uh, front of the house. At this point here, it does run underneath the uh, walkway partially. It's right around two feet, eight inches deep there. You know, now that I've come back through here again, let this line sit a little longer and let the line drain out. Um, we'll push back through here real quick and I'll show you. But it's drained out even more since I've went and located. And it's draining out pretty minimal here. That water line's not even up to the bottom of the camera lens. Right there it is, which is about a quarter, quarter of an inch of standing water. dives under the water here for a few feet. Now this belly is not significant enough that I would clean. I mean there's almost no debris in it at all. There's a little skit of stuff on the uh, walls of the pipe there but it's extremely thin. There's no large wads of toilet paper uh, hung up anywhere in the line. Especially in amongst that standing water there. So I would just uh, make sure that nothing, no big wads of toilet paper go down the line. Paper towels, grease, stuff like that that shouldn't be down the pipe. There is a little standing water there, so you want to avoid those items, but regular usage uh, would be just fine. Now we do have some standing water here in the crawl space area, and this is, I'm going through a, a, a smaller diameter here, it's like an inch and a half pipe, and I'm seeing more stand. and when you've got standing water in a smaller diameter pipe like this, it's uh, going to present the potential to allow debris to build up even more so, especially if it's a sink draining through there. Well, it looks like about that 
first uh, seven feet or so of the line here, it looks like the vent actually drops into the main line. So once we come down through the vent there, it's into three inch pipe. I would recommend getting the, uh, the pipe inside the crawl space uh, taken care of. There's a, about an inch of standing water inside there. Uh, I've pushed a lot of it out of the way because I've run it back and forth here now. Um, that, that is going to present a more likely spot that debris could hang up and cause a blockage, especially when it's in the crawl space. To, you're, you only have a, a few feet from, from a sink or a fixture to that point, so it'd make it more likely to uh, cause a backup. Unfortunately, because that's in the crawl space, I'm not able to locate it. I am going through the vent on the back side of the roof. I can show that, so it's essentially straight down from there into the crawl space. Uh, but I'm not able to actually locate that portion of it because it's not on the exterior. There's about that first seven feet of pipe there that has stone water, about an inch of it. And the camera's a little fogged up now, but you've got these two roof vents here, and there's a vent pipe there and a vent pipe here. And to our rear is the backyard so if you're looking from the backyard up at this side part of the roof it's the uh, pipe here on the left that I went through